Ladies and gentlemen, it's quiet. This is the e Copo concept. It's an all-electric drag racing concept that Chevrolet brought to SEMA. Fully electrified Copo. There's two Ford Warner electric motors that are set up in series. A single assembly, plus we have two inverters. This is a bolt-in replacement for the V8. It fits right in the LS bell housing. Then it mounts directly to the transmission, which is a turbo 403 speed auto. And so, what about the battery? This is exciting. We have four 200 volt mod uh, modules, four 200 volt modules, two in the back seat, two in the trunk for 800 volts. First application for a Chevrolet ever at 800 volts. It's very exciting. Well, what about the power? Over 700 horsepower is generated from this combination and 600 foot-pounds of listless instantaneous torque. And tonight, it's all about the Copo Camaro. Ready to get started? Let's bring it on up. Well, what we have here, is a 1969 Copo Camaro under the hood of 427ZL1 all aluminum big block engine, Laguna Blue on the outside, black interior, Monroe, four speed manual transmission. What a great combination. And what about Copo? A Corvette engine in a Camaro, and thus became Copo Camaro. All right, there's some horsepower. Copo Camaro. We're going to celebrate it, we're going to celebrate it big. Anniversary blue on the exterior. All the 50th anniversary logos in and outside the vehicle. Under the hood is what you'd expect. 427 cubic inch, naturally aspirated, fuel injected, based on the LSX V8. Turbo 403 speed. And every Copo we sell, we're gonna build 69 of them this year, has the high rise carbon fiber hood, unique front and rear fascias. And we offer three engines. When you order this vehicle, you pick your engine. The 427, or we have a 302 naturally aspirated direct injection. Or the third choice, it's supercharged. A 350 with a 2.65 Magnus and supercharger. You can run these in stock and stock eliminator. And let's get it rolling. There we go, I love it, baby. What do you guys think about that? Woo! So we are super excited here at the 2018 SEMA show and SEMA reveal to be bringing up some of the hottest cars to be on display uh, inside the walls and of course at outside displays all week here at the SEMA show and we'd like to remind everybody that uh, like we said before this is a tough show to see the whole thing Mr. Dave Kindick How are you? Hey Great good evening! evening. So this is just some uh, crap we threw together real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, another two-day build, right? Right before the show. <laughs> 1962 uh, Chevy Corvette. Obviously, most people know what they're looking at. This is sitting on top of the Art Morrison frame. It's all independent, front and rear. We're featuring uh, LT4 supercharged nice. uh, GM crate motor from GM Performance. Direct it's backed by a six-speed transmission. The trim on this car has been hand-built. This is all solid stock aluminum. It's I been uh, chrome. Actually, the windshield trim and the top of the door trim is pretty much all of the original trim untouched. Uh, but uh, we've actually opened these cars. The C1 Corvette, if you've ever had one of these, you know you're pretty much eating the steering wheel. Uh, so we've moved the whole driver's compartment back four and a half inches. All of that trim around the seats has been moved back, reconditioned. Right. It's actually solid stock aluminum that we pan shaped and chromed. And actually, we'll start offering this kit to where you can move the seats back in these C1s. It's a Ferrari uh, Magellan Rosso. Uh, this is a vintage Ferrari color. Just absolutely love this color. Yeah. And of course, with a really rich cork uh, leather interior, it just really sets it off. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about what you guys did around the back because yeah. the deck and, and this piece here all fit very nicely. Yeah. Well, thank you. And actually, there's some really trick stuff back here. Not until 1963, on the split window, would you have the gas cap that was located here. Yep. So, we nice. had old uh, Slick Willie, our, uh, where there's a will, there's a way. He made a hinge that comes out of the trunk lid, so you don't have to open the trunk to get to it.
part of our SEMA reveal tonight where we're giving you what you really came to see, and that is some of the coolest cars and trucks that are going to be on display here at the 2018 SEMA show. So uh, we teamed up with Bounce Motorsports and uh, uh, the suspension he designed in the computer and then uh, we did all the fabrication at our shop. So uh, the, we basically, if, if you drew a line down the back window, we cut the truck in half, fully roll cage it front to rear, uh, changed the whole rear end, did a curry rear end housing in it, uh, 10 inch ring and pinion, 40 splint axles. And so the truck is a uh, it's a matte with a little bit of a gloss in it, so it's almost like kind of like a, a matte satin. But uh, no, I mean it's, it's Hot Wheels 50th anniversary this year, so we, we wanted to go all out. And uh, this truck, I mean, it's so wide. When I mean the view you and I are, oh, yeah, it's, it's this is literally a foot wider per side than a factory F-150. So.